Corregidor, the rock, the Alamo of the Philippines, small tadpoled island, roughly two and a half square miles in area. It faces the China Sea and is at the entrance of the Manila Bay. On this island it has a Malenta Tunnel. This tunnel is 1400 feet in length. The tunnel has 25 lateral bays. The Japanese had planned on taking Corregidor within six weeks. Then they were going on to take over Australia and New Zealand and the rest of the Asian area. But the six weeks turned into five months and the five months is what saved Australia and other areas from being overtaken and overrun by the Japanese. It allowed the American naval and the Marines and the Army to build up strength in this area and protect these other areas. The fall of Corregidor was on May 6, 1942, which was just 22 days after the Bataan fall. 800 Americans were dead, 1,000 were wounded. Of that 1,000 were taken by the Japanese, another third died for various reasons. On February 26, 1945, almost three years later, the 503rd Airborne retook Corregidor. But with them, it only took them 10 days versus the Japanese five months. To this day, Corregidor has been left intact. It's a beautiful island to visit. It's a state park. You can see all the bombed out areas. One of the things the Japanese did was bomb the barracks, thinking they would be killing the Americans and the Filipinos. But the Filipinos and the Americans were in the gun bays and bombing bays fighting back. So very few were killed in their quarters. Most of them were killed when the Japanese physically attacked the area or in POW camps. Again, I thank you for watching my short video. There are so many conflicting stories about Corregidor. I, I, I really would like to see the Filipino side. I haven't been able to find anything written by them. And if I do, I will do a remake on this uh, video if my information is incorrect. Again, thank you for watching.